Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Steel City Knives. Right, I've got a special one for you today. So, let's talk about case knives. Uh, if you're into collecting knives, be careful when you start collecting case knives because it's like crack for his knife collectors. It really is like really addictive and there's a lot of different rabbit holes you can go down with case. You can collect just a particular series or maybe you want to collect all the patterns and things like that. So one rabbit hole I've gone down is the collector's club. So I've started, there's a few out at the moment on the secondary market over here in the UK. I've got a couple, but I can see myself picking a lot more up. So, But I thought it would make a good idea for a video. So I'm seriously thinking about joining this collector's club. They do an annual, um, and what I'll do, I'll show you the knives, and then we'll talk about the club afterwards. But So when the knives come to you, they come in a bit, a lot of them come in a more premium uh, sort of like case. Um, obviously, I, I bought both of mine up in the second-hand market, but a lot more of a premium setup, sort of. That is a massive uh, case for a Barlow, but this is one I've just got recently, um, which is a bit more of a manageable box, but really, you know, nicely uh, put together, but like a felt, nice felt box. Um, and we'll show you the paperwork. So this one's a copperhead, but look at that. Right, I'm going to zoom in because I got rid of the big box. So let's have a look at it. Absolutely beautiful. So you, it, this come, this came with the paperwork. The other one didn't, unfortunately. So uh, if you want to pause and read any of this, uh, by all means, I'll just put it on there. So it talks to you. It talk, tells you a bit about the XX um, and and why they do that. And then that's just the repair and the lifetime warranty and things like that. And then they've got this cool like little questionnaire thing, which I thought was good. Uh, and then why you, you know, you, you use the knife. So there it is, there's the collector's club, could join the largest knife collecting association in the world. All right, so brilliant. Right, let's have a look at the knives. So what we'll do, I'll show you the knives and then we'll go into a bit more detail about the Case Collectors Club. Um, so I got both of these knives from this guy here. So we have a few secondhand dealers over here, only a handful. Um, and luckily enough, they're all absolutely brilliant people. But Colin, I cannot rate highly enough. So he is such a gentleman, really nice guy to do business with. Just an absolute pleasure to deal with. Um, this is his information. And just a really nice bloke. And he actually <clears throat> reserved this one for me. Um, and, and he does, he's, he really does look after his customers. And I've bought a, quite a few knives off him now. And I hope to buy a lot more in the future because he has some brilliant deals. They always come spot on. But yeah, let's look at it. So we've got the special shield there, the Collector's Club shield. Absolutely gorgeous knife. Really good fit and finish on it absolutely stunning so with these collectors uh nice walk and talk usually get some work on the bolsters um there you are and then you usually get some billboarding uh there is there you are regular member 2007 so there's three types of membership at the moment there's the lifetime the annual which i think they call the regular and then the junior so but look at it for a copperhead look let's just take a closer look at those absolutely gorgeous brilliant fit and finish but yeah spot on we'll just have a look at the blade alignment brilliant there we go we'll just have a look at this tang stamp there you go. Have a look at that tang stamp. There you go. Yeah, 2007. So I have this one. And then I have the junior member one. I have a junior member one. And it's a Barlow. And it's in genuine stag. Again, it's got this lovely shield, this CCC. And then that's on the 5302. What does that say? 5302. 
I wonder if, so I have heard, and maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section, um, when you get these, you, you can have your, so this might be this member's number here. So it might stand for he's a lifetime member and his member number is 5302. Um, and I might have, the, so these were both bought by Col, uh, from Colin. So it could very well be somebody's number there. Um, and that's what, because I've heard that's what K's do. Um, now, the junior member um, is a brilliant idea. It's to get the younger sort of generation into knives. Um, I think it's free to become a junior member, but you need to be sponsored by an annual member or a lifetime member. Now, if you're a lifetime member, uh, you can have up to three. If you're an annual, you can sponsor two. So that could be your son, your niece, your nephew, whatever. But um, yeah, so this is the junior member, 2006. But I'm just really enjoying collecting these. And I, I found, I'm researching the whole, I definitely think I might have to become a member. So basically the annual is $25 a year. And what that gets you is uh, you can go into the knife forum, the, the actual case knife forum. Uh, you get a quarterly magazine throughout the year. Obviously, it'll probably be a digital uh, format for myself. Um, uh, and it, it might still be that for America, to be honest. Uh, or it could be a hard hard copy. But um, And then, obviously, you get the chance to get the annual knives uh, and also i think you get exclusive uh, knives as well like um, preferential treatment to them so um, i've just realized this has got a bit of oxidization around there might just need a bit of a clean on that stag but this is genuine stag um, but yeah really well put together knife um, and absolutely I just love them. I think they're they're brilliant. And like I say, there's a couple more. I think Kong has got a couple at the moment up for sale. Um, so I'm going to be careful when I put this video out because I've got a, a mate that's after one of them. So I don't want to put this out and then somebody watches it and goes and buys it off him. I've just messaged him now to see if he wants it because if he don't, I'm buying him. <laughs> but I ain't that guy. And I know it's, it's hit the pattern that he loves. So I'm not going to... Uh, compete with him on that one it's it's uh, not the done thing but yeah but if he, if he tells me he don't want it I'm getting it but yeah <laughs> but I love I absolutely uh, love collecting these so right I'm going to leave them there so that's a copperhead your standard copperhead and this is your standard barlow um, that's in genuine stag and this is a bone I don't know what the jigging is actually I should have probably looked that up but you'll probably see it in a minute because what I'm going to do hopefully this will because I don't know what the file is like but on Casey's official website they have like a checklist I'm going to put it up now and I'll, I'll talk over it as well so there's three sheets on that checklist and for some reason it doesn't quite go up to present day uh, and I'll just tell you a bit about the club itself and so the club was started in 1981, like I say, there's a quarterly magazine out for the members. So it's $25 for your annual fee, or it's $200, and it's a one-off payment to become a lifetime member. I said that once you have those uh, case collector uh, club, um, sort of, you're part of it, then you can sponsor the junior members. And again, if you're an annual, I think you can sponsor two juniors. If you're a lifetime, you can sponsor three. And I think the juniors, you have to be sort of under 17, I believe. And obviously there's a lot of um, parental supervision along the way because they can go on the forums, but it has to be okay by parent. Um, so, so the Case Collectors Club has been going since 1981. Uh, but then in the sort of 1990s, uh, I think it was bang on 1990, that's when they brought out the Lifetime and the Junior. And you can see that on the checklist there. So let's have a look at the first... Um, sort of let's have a look so I've got a picture of the very first annual magazine which looks really good it was printed in black and white I think it was about eight pages long uh, and then obviously we, oh, I found this look this was the first ever club knife uh, and they hadn't used this pattern since the 1940s so it's an Appaloosa bone large trap and it looks absolutely stunning 
Um, and, and like I say, there's a lot of benefits to being part of this club. So by 1980, so it started in 1981. By 1987, there was 4,000 mem- uh, members of it. Uh, and obviously it started, you know, just exploding thereafter. So 1986, they introduced the factory tours. And that's another thing about being a member. Obviously, it's no good for me. But if you're an American and you live close to uh, uh, sort of Pennsylvania or Bradford, um, then, you know, uh, you can. Is it, is, yeah. So if you live sort of in that region, then, you know, the factory tours would be brilliant. So and again, it, it gives you um, a sort of place you get a, a, a forum identity and you can talk in the case for them uh, as well so it just I, I I definitely think I'm gonna have to be a part of it and I'm gonna research it a bit more but the ones I'm picking up over here I just like the idea even if you just a member and you picked up one annual knife a year it'd be just a brilliant thing to collect but as you can see there's a lot of club knives out there but they all seem to be really well made uh, I've been really impressed I've googled a few as well throughout the years and they all look absolutely spot on but right okay just thought it'd be an interesting video to do um obviously case is massive it's a massive um collector's dream really um we've got some really good case content out there you've got mike curtis who's got an absolute immense sort of case collection and does some brilliant shorts on them you've got bc um who's new to youtube but he's got a brilliant case collection go check him out I'll, I'll link these channels actually if you're a case lover um in in the comment section so uh my mate uh gun singing a cow he's got some brilliant case knives um and loves case but yeah he's case is one of those brands that you just i think once you start it's dangerous it's a slippery slope and uh, a hell of a, a rabbit hole to fall in but yeah, um, I did. I mention, yeah, Tom at Knife Delights, he collects like series, doesn't he? Just certain series like the Ictis series and things like that. So there's so many avenues you can go with down with case, but they are, they're like crack to us, really. Um, but I love them, um, and my collection is growing daily. But this is one one thing that I think I want to be a part of, and I'd love to love to be a, be a member definitely so right thanks for watching guys uh, and i'll see you on the next one cheers